Green tea is not only really good to sip on year round. It tastes great, hot or cold, but did you know it's full of health benefits? According to WebMD, it even helps to improve mental alertness and thinking. That's why I need a cup right now. Here to show us how to brew the perfect cup of this wonder tea is Robin Scowl, the founder and owner of Fragrant Leaf Tea Boutique. Good morning, Robin. Thanks morning, for coming Matt. in. Thank you. Okay, so it takes a couple minutes to brew the tea, so we're going to start with that, then we'll talk about some of the benefits. So what do you what do you have? What are we going to do? Okay, I've got some Dragon Well Green Tea, which is one of the top ten famous teas of China. Okay. And we're going to first um, heat up our teapot gotcha. so that the water temperature is not too cold. Okay. <clears throat> And so you just put a little bit of tea in there, and now we're going to pour it into what another kind of glass yeah, or we're what gonna, have you? We're going to heat up our pitcher, which we'll decant the tea into after it's done. Interesting. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we're going to brew about two cups of tea. So I've got already uh, one teaspoon per cup. Okay. Uh, a little bit more. Just this to is give of it just loose tea. Loose tea. Oh, okay. So, so you already a, measured that out. I've already much measured that out. One teaspoon per cup, as you mentioned. And then I've got half, one and a half cups of water, about okay. six ounces per cup. Gotcha. And we'll get that going. Okay. Now do you just you close that off and you just let it sit? Yes. We'll time it for about three minutes. Okay. That's uh, probably the perfect brewing time for green tea. Okay. Let's go back for a second. Mm -hmm. Why did you go ahead and put some water in here to heat up? Okay. The, the little, what do you call that container there? This is our glass teapot. Okay, um, it's just a plain old glass teapot. I don't know if it was in it. Some of them have an infuser or something right. in them. No, it's just a, a loose teapot. Um, basically, the reason I put the hot water in there first was to heat up the teapot so okay. that when I put the water in to brew the tea, the temperature doesn't drop too much and not okay. too cold because it's gotcha. a cold cold vessel. Oh, okay. See, this is really the way to do it like a tea aficionado, <laughs> like what you in the store are. Okay, yeah. so we talk about one teaspoon of loose tea mm -hmm. per six ounces of per water? Per six ounces of water. For basically a cup. A cup, And exactly. then, uh, does it does the time to you steep it, is that right? Yes. Steep it, does it change depending on the tea? Um, generally for green tea, I recommend starting about two to three minutes and then okay. tasting it to see, you know, mm -hmm. how you like it. Um, some of these green teas are very forgiving. You can brew them, you know, four or five minutes. They won't okay. get too Bitter. All right, um, and uh, th we know there's like green tea. Uh, yes. You get that a lot of places, but you have a lot of different flavors of green tea and a lot of different types. What's yes. the difference in some of these? Um, well, the Chinese green teas, which is the dragon well that we have today, they tend to um, be uh, loose leaf teas, very um, long leaves, okay. and so their flavor is. Um, uh, sort of a nutty flavor. Okay. Um, the Japanese green teas tend to be a smaller leaf, so they brew much more quickly. Oh, okay. What are? Um, did you bring some examples? What are these um, here? This is a dragon well tea. Um, it's got a sword-shaped leaf. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, hold, hold that up for one more okay. second. We can get a shot of that. Sure. This is the one we're brewing right now, and it's the one with a longer leaf. Yes. Okay. Then what else did you go ahead and bring? Okay. Here we have a white peony, which is actually a white tea. Um, very similar to green tea. Okay, that has, uh, are the nutritional benefits of white tea the same as green tea? Very similar, yes. Okay. Very high in antioxidants, high gotcha. nutritional value. And then what is this? It's more like, uh, this is almost a, like little rocks. Yes, it's their little balls. It's, this is a Taiwan high mountain oolong, and um, it's a very light oolong tea, so it's very similar to green tea. Okay. Um, and they, they wrap this into a ball shape. Okay, so very good. Now, different. okay, so this has steeped for oh, about two to three minutes. Exactly. Uh, so what do we do with that? And how do we make sure we don't get any of those leaves in our in our tea? Okay, what I recommend is we have a separate pitcher here, and just a little strainer. You can use your kitchen strainer or gotcha. a, a nice strainer, and we just pour the tea or decant it into the okay. glass cup. And as you do that, I just want real quick, you're talking about a Japanese tea tasting event you have this Sunday, right? Yes, that's correct. We have a, a, an event on Sunday. We'll be sampling three different kinds of Japanese teas. Wonderful. Um, do you have a little instructions for folks? How do they want to make it at home, too? Exactly. Oh, okay, it's website. 20 bucks per person. Go to casa.com, click on the Casa blog for that. So you put that in the picture, you do it, and then the, uh, the, the Japanese, the Chinese ways, you just drink a little bit. Not like right. us Americans, we like more. Right. You, well, you can do it either way. Okay. Small cups, large cups. Very good. I'll give you a do you toast tea? There. Is that. We can certainly that do that. You Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. For more information again on the business and the tea, head to our website, casa.com. We'll take a live look outside at our roof cam and we'll say, see you later. We'll be right back.